sees the most dreaded of car launches, the midlife facelift they all run to the same routine The press conference is long and confident various speakers describe nuanced differences in design, suspension setup, and interior materials as though this model is completely different from the last to them. Deeply involved in the nip and tuck, the new car represents months, sometimes years of hard work to the assembled journalists. Well. Most agree the fancy new LED lights look cool the 2018 BMW 440i Coupe and its less powerful 4-cylinder 430i convertible cousin are my latest facelift nemesis. The list of updates and modifications is extensive and includes a retuned suspension with more aggressive dampers, recalibrated power steering, and new programming for the car's stability, traction control, and ABS systems. The aim was to create a more nimble and sporty driving experience to match the superb performance of its 3.0-liter single-turbocharged straight six, which pushes out 320 horsepower at 5,500 rpms and 330 pounds FT from just 1,380 rpms to 5,000 rpms. The 440i Coupe comes with a 6-speed manual standard or an optional 8-speed automatic that cuts the car 0 to 60 miles per hour time by a tenth to 4.8 seconds. It starts at $49,695 and is also available with BMW's X-Drive all-wheel drive system for two grand more aside from the dynamic changes. The 4 Series has been given a mild external makeover with a more aggressive nose including a bigger central air intake, while at the rear its elongated forms and new light clusters emphasize the coupe's wide track and yes, you can now get full LED lights too. The big question is will all this add up to a more dynamic driving experience? And on unfamiliar roads a long way from home, will I even notice? It's been made even more trying by the fitment of winter tires due to snow and heavy rain circling Munich, Germany that means bigger side walls, less responsiveness, and if the roads do dry out, a lot less grip we're driving a 440i coupe. The convertible's suspension remains unchanged but it does get revised EPA SDSC, in a guise that's essentially equivalent to the US spec track pack car. That means M Sport suspension, upgraded brake pads, and non-run flat Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires on 19-inch wheels so to assess whether BMW has ramped up the excitement we're in the right car, albeit it on the wrong rubber and smaller 18-inch wheels.